Hey guys, it's Jan. Welcome back. So today I have a clothing haul for you. Some things that I've had for a while. Let me move everything over. Um, and some things that are recent too. So I'm trying to find a good setup for my lighting today. It is so dreary in New York today, but my professional lighting seems like it's making everything very, very light. And in front of the window, it's too dark. So I'm trying to find a happy medium here. So hopefully this is going to work. But um, I think you'll be able to see the items pretty well. So I've had some things from Black Friday that I didn't show you. And I want to show you them. I'm just giving myself some room. It is Friday. So happy Friday to you guys. I hope you guys have a great, great start to your weekend. We love Fridays in our house because... Who doesn't love Fridays? You know, you sit down, you relax, and you get to just hang out with the kids, or if they go into their own rooms and do what they got to do with, you know, hang out, iPads, friends, and stuff like that. That's always good, too. So, um, yeah, I love Fridays. But anyway, so I don't want to ramble on too much like I always do because I want to show you what I purchased. A lot of this was... Um, I'm going to say most of this was inexpensively purchased, which is always a good thing. A few things are Black Friday deals. Of course, they were going to be inexpensive. I'm going to start with this one. This is Uniqlo t-shirt, men's V t-shirt in white, uh, great cotton, pre-washed, great fit. It's got a boxy fit, but it's got a different kind of vibe to it all together because it is a higher men's v-neck, and I love it under a blazer. It's really comfortable and pretty inexpensive, so love Uniqlo for some really great shirts. Another one I purchased was from Aeropostal during Black Friday. This is actually Black Friday shopping. I was there like crazy early, like 3 o'clock in the morning. And originally it retailed for $46.50. Everything was 50% off in the store with additional discounts. So I think I ended up paying like 19 maybe $18 for this. And it's polyester and you know how I feel about white button-down shirts. You can't have enough of these. So totally love that. Another one I picked up, this was on clearance at Target. I wore this recently in a video. Sorry, my camera's doing funny things when I hold something up. Um, this was from Mosimo. Yeah, and I loved it because it's black and white, and I can wear it with leggings, and I can wear it with a skirt if I ever needed to, or skinny jeans, and there's just really great ways to wear this. So that was on clearance, too. These two next items are from Zara, and they were on sale, not clearance. This is a trench coat, which I completely love my trench coats, of course. We're wondering uh, if we can do Paris in April with the kids this time, but they only have a week off for the Easter vacation, so I'm not sure if it's going to be enough time or um, if we can do it, but I do know one thing that... In the last couple of years when we've been in Paris in April, it's been freezing. It's been like their winter still, so this definitely won't be enough. But if we do go, I'll definitely be bringing it. Um, but either way, I'm going to be wearing it because it fits perfectly. And I love trench coats, especially shorter ones for me because I'm only 4'11". Um, but this is just a really great quality. It should still be on the website right now. It was only $59. I don't know what the full retail price was, but it was on sale for $59. And I got a small, so really... Um, I think that looks good on me. Another thing I purchased, they're not in order, um, was this Forever 21 blazer. And I got this during the December sales. And what they do is they like to take their sales and reduce them by like another 50%. So whatever the full retail price was, I don't know, but this was on sale for $14. And then I got it for seven, which was great because it's a decent black blazer. It's got a nice, comfortable um, material. It's probably polyester mix but it's not itchy, it's not frayed. It was really great condition. It's pretty silver hardware, which I don't know if you can tell. Um, yeah, so seven dollars. And you know, sometimes when you come across something that's so inexpensive like that, you, you really can't leave it in the store. That kind of thinking though has gotten me like at the end of the month I'm like, okay, well, I know mostly everything I bought was on clearance and then I see that clearance adds up too. So that kind of thinking sometimes can be dangerous. So this is the other thing I purchased from Zara. These are skinny black jeans, of course, because like I need more skinny black jeans, right? But yes, I do because I love skinny black jeans and they just are what look good on me. I love these because they have the zippers. The inseam, I didn't try them on, but the inseam I remember being short, which is my thing with clothing anywhere, whether I buy them in person or online. The Obviously, the sleeve length and the inseam need to be, you know, shorter for me, which is why I tend to buy smaller clothes because uh, I don't want to pay tons and tons for alterations. To me, at that point, it's just... 
gets to be very, very expensive. But these are a size 36, which are a 4. And it just looks like the rise is very big in here. Like, it just looks like there's a lot going on in here. But I will let you know. And if it's too much trouble to send back to Zara, then you can look for these on Poshmark. I will let you guys know. Um, but these are only $29 on sale. So I thought that was a really, really good price. Okay, next thing I picked up. This was something I had already worn in an Instagram outfit of the day. And I love doing them because they're quick and I don't have to set up lights and tripods and make sure the camera's charged. Sometimes it's just a lot easier to do it that way. Um, but this is from Charlotte Russe and it's just a great statement tank to wear year-round. I wear these if it's in the winter, I'm going to just wear a jacket with it. If it's in the summer, then I'll, you know don't need the jacket but either way I need a cami and it's just got these really pretty rhinestones and I, like I said I was I did do an Instagram outfit of the day with that this I got and I don't know if I showed you guys this but anyway um, it's from the Philip Lim collection from Target I just saw Katie Lee Joel wearing this on Rachel Ray she did a cooking segment I love Katie Lee Joel I don't know if you guys do too but I love her love her heart love her so much and Kelly Ripa I love both of them um two like New York personalities and um she had this tucked in and I knew right away what it was because it's the same design so that's cool that she would wear this um but anyway yes yeah, so the Philip Lim Target collection I thought was okay I had some good pieces and this was one of them that I picked up on clearance I think I got this for like eight dollars and completely love it. Sometimes, other than the Missoni collection, I went out there and I was one of the crazy people. I'll wait for those reductions uh, to come in with those designer collaborations. Because sometimes, like particularly with Marc Jacobs, there were a lot of his items from Target that were so similar to the real full-fledged Marc Jacobs item in terms of price that it was like maybe $12 difference at that point. Instead of getting the piece from the collaboration with Target, you might as well just go get the full Marc Jacobs item, which is what I felt about like a lot of his scarves and stuff. But something like the Philip Lim, I wait for it to be reduced and then I'll pick it up. Um, because those are secondary lines, and I don't know if I ever had that talk with you guys about secondary lines, and I'd rather just go for the big investment piece sometimes, but it depends. Sometimes the secondary lines can come out with some really good pieces. But anyway, so this is from Charlotte Russe. This was fun because um, it says Holy Chic, of course, so I thought that was totally cool. It has the big arm sleeve here, so I obviously have to wear a cami with this. It's a pretty peach color. It's kind of got this subtle... Um, smoky kind of beading here but I thought that was a lot of fun too uh, I think I'm down to my last two clothing items and then I have a couple of accessories these next two pieces are okay I picked them up purely because they're on clearance again and one is similar to what I'm wearing now and this is not one of my favorite shirts I just wanted to wear something different my daughter hates this shirt on me um, and she's gonna hate this one too but I already have ideas for this this is a chambray shirt and I never really got into the chambray trend I don't know why um, but I can see definitely you know closing this up and having a great statement necklace like with nice turquoise uh, crystals or um, green or something like that will clear definitely see doing that with it if I were to wear it now or I could see wearing this as like a cover up in the summer on the beach when you're there a little bit long and you get a little chilly um, definitely I could see wearing this over a bathing suit like that or maybe even a maxi dress and just like kind of tied at the waist and sleeves rolled up um, I got to you know figure out how I'm gonna style this but I picked it up because it was $6.98 and they're in the stores now this and the next thing I'm gonna show you but um, yeah so you know, I bought a chambray shirt, and I'm glad I only spent $6 on it, because it's not really my preferred kind of look. Okay, and the next one is really not my preferred kind of look, but I immediately saw that since we take spontaneous trips upstate New York, and we do our pumpkin picking upstate New York, um, and you can get dirty, and it's great for rainy days, I picked this up, and I think I had something like this similar, but it was a little bit prettier than this. So this is from Morona. And mind you, they're still on the white hangers because I'm still on the fence if I'm really keeping them. I'm showing you and letting you know they're in the stores, but I don't know. We'll see. So it's a windbreaker, and this was only $11. And again, back to my clearance thinking, sometimes it's too good to leave in the store at that price, so I picked it up. But the only thing I wish about this, because definitely this is a very nice look. I'm not opposed to the look at all. It's fitted. It's tapered. So it's not you're not looking like you're going to wear your husband's jacket. That I like about it. I do like the look. I think it's a dressier uh, windbreaker, you know, than 
obviously than some that you can get out there. I just wish that the lining was black. That's all. I just it makes me feel like sports equipment or not sports equipment but sports clothing look, you know. Um, so I'm not thrilled with the lining, but that's the only thing I'm not thrilled with. Other than that, and I don't know if that's being too picky, but sometimes I am. But other than that, um, I think it was a great buy. So like I said, I've already got ideas for this. Like if I was going away with the kids for the weekend and I needed something that I didn't have to really worry about and I could just throw in the wash. Um, but if it had that black lining, I would have rocked this with, um, black heel boots, like stiletto heels and like leggings and like a great hat and a great sachi bag and a, a tank top underneath and that would have been the outfit and I could see doing that but unfortunately you know you got the hood and you got this and I don't know I don't know but I've been on a lot of blogs where it doesn't stop a lot of people you know to dress it the way I just said so I'll uh, play around with this I'll show you what you can do with that so that's it for the clothes. Let's get into the accessories. I wore this hat the other day. This is from ASOS. I love these hats. I have a collection of them. I just love myself and floppy hats, fedoras of any kind. So you saw this already. And then I picked up a pair of rain boots because the ones I had, I really didn't like. So I picked up a pair of hunters, which I had once before and I sold on eBay. And I kind of regretted afterwards because the next season it came around. Of course, I didn't repurchase them when I needed them. And then next season came around and it was really rainy one day. And I was like, if I only had those hunters. So I regretted that, that sale that time. So I picked them up again. Um, and I like them. I really do. I think that they're wide enough for my foot. Um, I don't have skinny feet. I have probably more on the wider side. And these are more comfortable than the ones I had. So uh, they're in black. And I never treat them. People always say to treat them. I never treat them. I like them when they get little kind of banged up looking. Very festival kind of looking. And then I have a couple of uh, flats. I have to bend down to get them. And one looks like a pair of one uh, flat that I love, that I have, that I have boxed. And the other one doesn't, but they're both the same brand. Uh, the brand is Joe Fresh, which I'm not really familiar with it, but of course I've heard about it for a while. Um, but we were in a store that carried Joe Fresh, and I saw these flats, and I was like, you know what? They were on clearance. They were like $9 a piece. I said, let me pick them up because it can always bounce around in a pair of flats, and they get ruined. Who cares? So that was my thinking when I bought these. And they're just inexpensive flats, but the thing is, what I love about them and what drew me to them is that they look exactly like my Repetto's, and they have the toe cleavage, too, where you see the, the toes a little bit. So I love them for that reason alone. Uh, but they're faux leather, inexpensive, so it's raining today, but it's too cold to wear them. Uh, but on a rainy day, I could see just, you know, running out to the store real quick wearing these flats. And no one would know that they were inexpensive. The next ones are a little bit more fun. People might say they're totally holiday-ish, but I say there's totally statement flats. Really pretty red velvet flats from Joe Fresh too. Uh, we were in a store looking for something for Allie for a Christmas show, and we happened to see these. And they had little girls and, I guess, moms, I don't know. And I picked up a pair for myself, and they were $9. And, again, I could see wearing these with, like, a T-shirt, skinny jeans, a great bag, a great hat, and you got a statement shoe. Um, and I think they're fun, you know. So saves on the expensive shoes when you get, you know, alternate things you can just bop around in. Totally thought these were cute. Only wore them once, but, you know, you can't really beat the price. And I had a pair of earrings here. Um, I think they're underneath all of my, here we go, all of my clothes. Okay, so I was in Target, and I came across these earrings. I always look at Target jewelry because um, I have very few real expensive pieces of jewelry. All of a sudden, it got very light in here. Um, but I have a lot of fashion jewelry, as you guys know, probably. So I saw these, and I just thought that they were really, really pretty. I'm going to have to move in for this. They are just Target little blingy on oh my nails sorry target blingy um like i don't know teardrop earrings i just thought they were really really pretty i like things like this that are light against dark hair and i'm sure people who have light hair like things that are dark and i just think that they're super super pretty so yeah that is the end of my fashion haul guys i hope you guys enjoy this it is friday so enjoy the start of your weekend we're relaxing tonight and i hope you guys do too and i will see you in my next video bye guys